What's up, everybody? I know it's a little loud. I'm sorry. But I'm a little excited. I'm a lot excited about heresy. 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 Like heretic. All right. For Honor, Year 7 Season 1 coming out. It's a lot to go through. So uh, the Warriors Den covered so much. We're going to focus on Title Update 1, but we see Title Update 2 as well. I'm going to try to get through it as fast as I can. Let's first get into the Event Pass. And I like to focus on the fashion. So from March 16th to April 6th, we have the Heresy of the Relics. Let's go ahead and get into the fashion of it. We have a pretty good ornament, battle outfit, and effect that's going on. So that's always good to see. And then once we get through that, we're going to take a look at the weapons. Now the weapons for a fashion perspective, they're clean. I'll say they're clean, they're understated, so they can they can go with quite a few things. You got your brown colors, you got some silver colors, you have some green, maybe a subdued green, maybe a puke green, something like that, but you can do something with this fashion or with these weapons, I would say. So you have some options. Um, they, I think there's a few weapons that do have some a little color to it, like a little red, a hint of red in there. So you got your ruby red. You got some other things that you can do with that. So, you know, I like the fashion. So that's one thing you can do with these weapons. I like them. Not bad. But moving on. So we have an event mode. This is a brand new event mode they've never had before. But really what it is is a rework of tribute. Um, but I'm going to have to play it to really see how we like it. They use secluded keep and they do they use the relics that we've already seen so you got the chalice you have the bracelet and you have the dagger dagger is the other one i was like what's the other one it's the dagger so you have those and you actually i don't know if you, if you play tribute you know you have to like plant the flag in there or whatever but for this you actually have to capture the area where the relic is. I, I kind of like that. I like that little spin off to kind of give you a little dominion flavor. And you also, they reworked it because you can't go up top. It's all going to be one level. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But so far, I like the I like the looks of the event mode. And it should be fun to play. But I just hope people stick with it because so many times these new events come out and they're gone in no time. It's like, whoa, uh, it goes from high activity to low activity in like two days so hope people stick with it give it a shot honest try and it should be pretty good now let's talk about year seven season one the battle pass so this is the main battle pass that we're getting into and we have a lot going on with this battle pass y'all so we got two battle outfits we got two effects that are pretty cool pretty cool we got executions going on we got a lot going on basically and we got a new signature as well and they all have their own little flavor and I actually like them all and when we jump into the weapons the battle pass weapons are really good they're solid I like them better than the event pass but it's kind of what you would expect expect because you don't have to pay for the event pass but you got to pay for the battle pass so it's it's kind of typical that it was gonna be a little bit better but I definitely see some high quality fashion possibilities with these can't wait to get my hand on them and I hope they don't put that Nobu weapon at like level 90 or something like that where it takes me a little longer because I don't get to play for honor every day so we'll see what happens with that but enjoy the fashion get the battle pass and have fun with it we also have the pirate hero skin it's called the inquisitor Yenchen. so that's coming year seven season one and I really like the the pirate now I don't I'm not a big pirate fan I didn't use her initially, obviously, because she and she's been nerfed since then. I think they balanced her out pretty well now. So there should be minimal complaints about Pirate, even though she's just kind of annoying on the battlefield. But I like her. I like her. And the hero skin, I think they did her justice. That's definitely a hero skin I am considering buying. You know, there's been some that I'm like, I don't know about that one. But this one is really nice. They did a good job with this one. So. I expect to see a lot of pirates out there with this fashion, for sure. I know I'll be one. For testing grounds, we have Lawbringer as well as Nusha coming to testing grounds. Now, Lawbringer is getting a, a bigger rework than Nusha. Nusha is like the beginning stages of a rework, but we'll just we'll break it down like this. So Lawbringer now has a three light combo. So 
you lawbringer mains and you people who like the law, you can finally go light, light, light. You can also throw out a zone and immediately complete or continue your chain. And it's uninterruptible. So you're gonna be uninterrupted even if somebody dodges. So you can't just dodge the zone because Lawbringer can then throw an uninterruptible heavy out of that. So that's nice. What they mainly did was seemingly introduce a lot of nuanced changes to Lawbringer so that way he can continue his attack. So now Lawbringers can, after they complete a heavy finisher, let's say an unblockable, they can go right into another one. It's wild, it's wild. But we're gonna have to get our hands on it to see how crazy it is. I know I saw a freeze video. He was already saying this thing is a joke, but let's just see. Let's just see and make sure you give feedback right away. And that's one thing JC was saying was give feedback right away. Don't wait and test it for a few times, for a few days, and then give feedback. Give feedback right away. And if you play it a little longer, you have a different opinion, go give feedback again. Now let's talk about Nusha. So with the Nusha changes that they made, and I actually like the changes. I like their, I guess their outlook on what they're doing. They're gonna start with the trap. They want to keep Nusha's trap. It's very unique. So they wanna keep her identity. It is her identity. And I love that. I love that. So really what they, they did was make her trap come out 100 milliseconds later. And their goal with this is to make it so it's less reactable. And they already know there's gonna be these reaction gods out there but they're, they're trying to do the best they can because if they nail this, they do have some other plans for. So Nusha mains, people that like Nusha, people that hate Nusha, all of y'all, get out there, give feedback, give your thoughts because Nusha definitely needs a rework and we're right on the cusp of it. So let's make sure they get it right because they're trying to get it right. We have three Hero Fests that are coming up. The three Hero Fests, April 6th, April 13th, April 20th. April 6th is Lawbringer. April 13th is Pirate. April 20th is my girl, Nabushi. Now, the good thing about Hero Fest, you know they have those little stickers, emblems, whatever they call them. I know Stefan said stickers, but you're gonna get a new execution. So along with Testing Grounds coming, you're gonna try out Testing Grounds with Lawbringer, and then you're gonna get the Hero Fest, get a new execution that comes with Lawbringer, get a new execution for Pirate, and get a new execution for Nabushi. So looking forward to that. So they covered a lot of things. We got a quality event pass. We got a new event mode. We have a battle pass that's got some great weapons, some good fashion that we have going on. We got a nice execution that you can ledge with. We got a hero skin that looks dope. Testing grounds with something that a lot of people wanted. And it's the, for the betterment of the game with Nusha as well as Lawbringer. The hero fest. Nobu's getting some love, so I like it. That's all title update one, y'all. That's all title update one. Let's give a, a round of applause to the dev team constantly putting out quality work for For Honor. And it's getting better. It's getting better and better. So I'm going to leave y'all with the Heresy Season 1 trailer so you can hear it, the entire thing with the volume. Let's get the hype rolling. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Until next time, peace. I joined.